This is the perfect segue into truth over facts. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Truth over facts. Yes. Oh yeah. That's it is a good segue. Truth You're right. Over facts. Truth over facts. No, you, not, I'm sure you people have heard this. Oh yeah. How many of you have seen uh-huh. the epic Truth Over Facts? This is this is this is I, I'm sorry, man. I don't know if you guys watched segment I did earlier. I gotta say <laughs> it's so funny. This <laughs> is one of the greatest trolls ever done yep and i don't know like i don't you know i don't want to say that the trump campaign did all of it on purpose like the outcome was just a perfect storm in some regard but it really was a smart campaign yep let me give you the gist they nailed it this is a website called thetruthoverfacts.com when you go there you see a very confused looking joe biden (laughs) actually several of them and it says joe biden files text truth (laughs) i'm gonna do that Text TRUTH to 88022 if you have any (laughs) tips related to discovery of truth over facts paid for by Donald J. Trump. First, it's so obviously not real. Right. I'm I'm so, I I can't, it's just so difficult. The journalists thought it was real. They started tweeting about it. Trump's truth over facts campaign. Uh, Ezra Klein was like, if you would have told me that Trump was going to launch a campaign called Truth Over Facts, I would have said, you know, that was un, uh, unreasonable and uh, you know, unsubstantiated. But here we are or something like that. So they they actually thought that was his new slogan. Like, that, he, like he was doing MAGA. some kind of new campaign He's or something. Like, yeah. no, no more MAGA. Let's just do Truth Over Facts. First, <laughs> this is a gaffe Dude, from that's Joe wonderful. Biden. It's a it's a gap from Joe Biden. I know Joe Biden was in Iowa or something. And he said, we believe in truth over facts. And everyone started making fun of him. Mm-hmm. The Rightly fact, so. As they should, but, yes. But yeah. here's, what's, here's what's crazy. How do all these political reporters not know that? Where have they been? Yeah, what? What are they reporting on? Yeah, what? what's going on? That's that? crazy, man. Seriously. That doesn't make any sense. I can, I can, I can cite numerous Biden gaps on the top of my head. Mm-hmm. Or like weird circumstances. Yeah. You got, what was the it? Thing. Um, the thing. Corn pop? The thing. Yeah, corn pop. You know the, the thing. thing. You, you know, know the, the, thing. the thing. There was the, the thing on stage where he turned around and, and put his back to the camera uh-huh. and people thought he was lost, but I think he was fixing his fixing teeth. His How about this one? How about this one? The, where he almost, where it looked like he fell asleep on, fell asleep <laughs> yeah, on TV. That was my favorite. Yeah, that, that one. You got it. Yeah, there was, yeah, got see, it. There was <laughs> that's the, 20, the easiest one to do. The 21 second clip where he <laughs> sputtered and muttered randomly on CNN. It's like, I if you if you pointed these things out to me, I'd be like, I remember that. Leg yeah. hair? Yep. Mm-hmm. The leg hair thing, oh, the kids. Gosh, yeah. oh, they make gosh. cartoons about it. I try to forget that part. I know. Actually. Truth over facts thing. One of the ones I don't want to the remember. Thing, yeah. There's, I, I, I just learned this though, the, the Winston Churchill thing I didn't know. Oh yeah, my I didn't notice God, that. Did you, that's, that's embarrassing. Did you yeah. know, <laughs> for those of you listening, did you know that at a, at a CN, it was a PBS debate, that someone said to Joe Biden, at the end of your first term, you'll be 82, you will be the oldest president in U.S. history. He says, "What about Winston Churchill?" And he didn't, he didn't hesitate at all. No, he, he was like, he's ready. What about Winston Churchill? And then the guy says, "American history," and he goes, "American history." Oh, oh. I was joking. I was yeah. making a joke. That's a joke. And then everyone laughs. It's like, no, he wasn't. <laughs> no, you weren't. No, he wasn't. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how I missed that one. That was in December Truth 2019. So, so not only, <laughs> th- th- listen, listen, Holy moly. not oh only did they not even know about Biden's gaffe, which to me is kind of crazy. Like you have one job. Your job is to cover politics and mm. you don't even know about a high profile gaffe, which turned into a major meme yeah. that the right was going nuts about on Twitter. Yeah. When I was on, uh, when I was on Rogan with Dorsey, and uh, Vijay Gade and, and Joe, we were talking about how in 2016, left-wing journalists don't follow right-wing journalists, but right-wing journalists follow both mm-hmm. left and right. Right, that makes sense. Jack said it was getting better. Like, it's changing, it's changing. I disagree. And I think- I this- think Lydia disagrees too. I do, disagree. I was making a face like this. Yeah, that's not <laughs> happening. That is not changing. That is not getting better. Sorry, I make faces. The reason, f- and, and this is proof, if you follow any conservative, you would have seen Truth Over Facts light up your Twitter feed like crazy. Mm-hmm. None of them knew what this was. You know what gets even crazier? Oh, enlighten us. They didn't even Google Come it. On. They didn't. <laughs> what? Oh, what is so this? Easy. It's like all you had to do was just type it type in it and in. this pops up and it's so obvious. Come they on. Didn't, they didn't even do that. Come oh, on. Talk you have due diligence. one job. To Google things. This is crazy. <laughs> That's your job. And I was, I was talking about this. I don't know if I was talking about this on the last show or whatever, how... You know, one, one thing uh, that I'm going to start start doing soon is like a news aggregator slash fact checker. The goal, so that you have a lot of these fact checking websites mm-hmm. where it's like you can't really navigate it. It's a fact check. Right. So you're not seeing stories. You're seeing like, you know, claim, 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 false, true, false. 
I want to make an actual site where it's like, you know, Donald Trump launches Truth Over Facts satirical campaign yeah. mocking Joe Biden. And then when you go into it, it shows you sources, edit history. It shows you all these other sites and what the mainstream media is saying to give you an actual understanding of what's happening. I actually think there, there's there been a few uh, chat comments randomly that I, I've caught. People are asking for this, for you to make this. What, isn't it crazy? So you got to do wait, it, wait, 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 hold on. Listen, listen. Mm-hmm. It makes sense in this climate, in this world that we've got. It's like, we need That's this. That's the plan. That's the plan. For, for I love it. The, the next plan is... Boom. Uh, I'm going to eventually... We need a space. Yeah. But then the goal is to get several people. And what we'll do is there'll be big, high-profile stories of the day. Probably all this, a lot of the stories that I do commentary on. Okay. And we're going to fact... Like, I do a fact check on most of these stories anyway, to some de- to varying degrees. Yeah. And then we'll have a breakdown of, like, we've confirmed this story from these different sources, all independently confirming it, right? And then we'll Sounds show the nice. edit history, and we'll explain, like, here's what happened. But also, there will be, like, an analysis. Like, in the Truth Over Facts story, journalists were clueless as to what really happened. And it'll be, it'll be something that affect, but the point that I'm, I'm bringing up and why I think this is crazy, why do we need that website? We can't even trust the news articles the news companies write because they don't fact check any of it. That's true. One of the guys who tweeted, like this, it was a long tweet. He was like, what is this? I don't understand. You don't trust, tr- 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 trust facts anymore? What is Trump trying to say? Senior national correspondent for ABC News. Wow. Yep. Dude, like, How do you hurt. not know that how Biden do you not Google said it? that? Yeah. How, do you, how do you not go like, I see this thing Trump is doing. Let me type that in real quick to Google. Yeah. Oh, it's not, clearly satire. Hmm. hmm. They don't. It's pretty clever. I was at uh, Politicon a couple of years ago, and there was a panel with the guy from Media Matters. David Pakman was on it. A couple other people. I don't remember who. Lauren Chen, I think. Okay. And we all asked. They were like, it, was, it was a Q&A session, and I went up and asked, how are we supposed to uh, you know, trust these outlets when they don't even have fact checkers anymore? They fired yeah. them all, and they don't, they don't do it. And I got a really awful response. But it was funny because it was supposed to be like a fake news panel or something. And they're like, well, you know, the job of the journalist as they're writing is to fact check the news. And I'm like, man, I, you, you guys have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> That's clearly not the case. Yep. Fact checkers are independent for a reason. Right. Mm-hmm. So that when the journalist writes the story, someone from a different department on a different floor makes several phone calls and says, is what they're claiming true? Right. That way, if you have one person who's in charge of their own fact checking, they're going to just lie. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh man, or, the, or find the ones that fit their, what they're trying to say. Yeah. Right. You know, oh well, I, I found all these articles, and it's like, yeah, well, are they true? Or hmm. oh, good question. Did you just do you dig your hole more? You know. Do you remember that story about the? the it was like I think it was a German guy who won a bunch of awards. He wrote for like Newsweek, Time, or like Der Spiegel, and it turned out he, everything was just fake. Yes, I do remember that. Yeah. I remember this guy. He was like one of their most esteemed reporters. He'd been reporting for like ten or twenty years or something, and it turned out, yeah, every single thing he had been pulling out of thin air. And there was absolutely no basis to it. But Boom, he was one it. of their best reporters. Here, Tim out. has it. Der Spiegel says top journalists faked stories for oh years. Gosh. Publication says Klaus Relotius committed journalistic fraud on a grand scale. You know what's really funny about this? <laughs> Everything. Technically, he didn't because what he did is commonplace. Like, now I, it I, is. I say it's not a grand scale. Yeah. He's like, what do, you, what do you mean? He just like does everything what everyone else does. He got caught. Mm. That's what it really is. Poor fool. It's funny because I remember when the story was coming out, people were like, why would a journalist make up sources and lie? That I makes no sense. It <laughs> makes absolutely no sense. Well, when you win a, you know, what, what does the Pulitzer Prize pay? Like 10 grand? It, it definitely pays money. I don't it know does? how much. I think so. I think it pays 10 grand. I'm going to I'm gonna Google it. I got this. It's a nice little uh, sum of money. Yeah. See, you can Google things. That's how this works. Ten thousand, fifteen thousand dollars. Ooh, not bad. The Pulitzer Prize awarded yearly in twenty-one categories. In twenty of the categories, each winner receives a certificate and a U.S. fifteen thousand dollar cash award. Raised from adjusted 10, for inflation. Nice. Yeah, it went up. Yeah, it went up from ten k. So, so let me tell you, when someone writes a story and mm-hmm. wins a Pulitzer, yeah. they put money in their pocket. Mm-hmm. Come on, man! It's so obvious why they write fake news. You can't monetize this. The first reason. You make money, man. Sweet, sweet Skrilla, baby. Mm-hmm. You write a fake story. Adam Krigler does a triple backflip off the back porch. Wow. Boom. It's one true. million views. Good job, it's true. Adam. It's true. Adam will fact check this triple. for us. Trip. Quadruple. The best, <laughs> the best backflip. Best back triple backflip you've ever seen. Adam Onto Krigler. a skateboard. Ooh. While Into a kick ramp. flipping. Wow. Into a ramp. I kick flipped as I spun. It was and, amazing. And, and, and coming. he did it because he was saving a falling puppy. Mm-hmm. A falling yes. kitty. Yep. A falling kitten. And, and a puppy. And a puppy. Oh, both. I had gosh, it in both hands. 
So here, you, you write a story like that. Can someone do puts, that picture, please? That you do, be amazing. You, you, you do a, ridic- a ridiculous picture. You fit the narrative. Mm-hmm. They're clever about it. But you'll get all these. Tr- you'll get, you get all these hits. You sell all these ads. You make all this money. Yep. And then the next day, you say, "Oopsie." Oops. Oh, we did, we sorry. We did an oopsie. Listen. Oopsie. By triple backflip catching a dog and a cat, I meant I fell. In a video, it, no, no, it was in a video that's game. That's all. That's all that it happened. Was it was in a video game. game. Oh, you did yeah. do it, but it was a video But there was a cat game. in my hand so, hold on, hold on. while I was playing. They don't. I was petting It's not. Goku. It's not so overt. They don't, they don't uh, you know, they won't write a story where it's like, you know, Adam did a triple backflip. They'll write something more believable, like yeah. we saw with the New Statesman article. I was just saying, like, the, you know, talking about Ivanka, and it's like, it wasn't saying anything for certain. There was no facts that she even spoke of. It was just like assumptions and mm-hmm. hearsay, nothing, oh, nothing, I got a, bunch of nothingness. I got a good one for you. Oh, good. So I, I have a Google alert set up for, you know, various things, okay, including myself. Mm-hmm. And I get notifications when people write stories about me. Okay. One of them was a journalistic advisory website. Mm-hmm. And it was written by this left-wing activist posing as a journalist who tried to get the Proud Boys banned from their banking institution. Successfully, actually, did get the Proud Boys banned. She had sent an email to Chase Bank saying something to the effect of, like, why are you providing support for these groups or something? It's like, providing support is such an awful way to phrase someone opened a bank account at one of your branches. It's <laughs> yeah. like a ridiculous thing to you say. You mean that thing that anyone can do? Yeah, it was a merchant account. So it was like, there's probably tens of millions of them. The company had no idea. Well, they purged the Proud Boys, like cl- the guy's personal account. It wasn't even a Proud Boy account. They closed down amazing. his personal account. Amazing. So she writes, and she writes, you know, like how to deal with hate speech in this, in this thing. And then she says, let me give you an example from my own history. When, you know, far right adjacent blogger, Tim Poole, a popular YouTuber, you uh-huh. know, published an email of mine, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what does far right adjacent mean? Does that mean right wing? Does that mean just regular right wing? Why yeah. would you write far right adjacent instead of right? Adjacent well, means next I think to. it means right. you're, you're in the yeah. center, which is next to the right. right. It's next to the right, yeah. You're also far left adjacent then at the same no, no, time because so you're incorrect. in the middle. Yeah, but we don't talk about that. The, 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 the right is adjacent to center right and far right. Okay. So if you're far right adjacent, the only thing you could possibly is right possibly be is right. There's nowhere further to go. So the reason she wrote far right adjacent is to make it sound more ominous. Yeah. A far right adjacent popular YouTuber. That's right. <laughs> That's Libertarian me. socialist Tim Pool. Mm-hmm. Social liberal, all that jazz. Sure. Because I don't like the Democrats. But that that's that's what she she does that because it's shocking, it's a narrative. It, it it you know it'll it'll be like ooh prestige and like you know allure yeah. this crazy story. Add, that's add what they some do. flair. So yeah, seriously. But that's that's it, right? Yeah. A story about you being called out for malfeasance and wrongdoing. Yeah. That's not going to get you a lot of clicks. But if you're being attacked by a hate mob sparked by far right adjacent blogger, now we're talking. And it's <laughs> technically not untrue. It's her opinion mm-hmm. and it masquerading makes her a victim. this fact. Yeah. And it makes her a victim. Mm-hmm. So what the journalists can do is I, I love I love framing devices. My favorite one is hydroxic acid. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, this is great. Yeah. So most of you already know this, but <laughs> I always I'll, I'll, the example I give people is that hydroxic acid is a is a re- relatively dangerous substance. If you breathe in a little bit of it, you could die. They use it to like clean down, you know, clean off, uh, you know, metals. It can actually eat through metal. It's used in nuclear power plants, and it's responsible for a lot of deaths every year. They f- actually find it in cancer cells. And then once people are all freaked out, you just say like, you know, this is a very serious problem. I could have written all that down as as a, as fact. But then when I tell you that it means water, hydro- hydroxic acid means water, mm-hmm. it's the same thing as the di- dihydrogen monoxide hoax. But mm-hmm. I just, hydric acid sounds crazier in my opinion. It sounds, you know, acid. Ooh, yeah, scary. scary. Yep. Here's, here's my favorite my favorite retelling of this. I did this video a few years ago. This is, I'm gonna, I'm, everything I'm about to tell you guys is the truth. 100% true. You're going to love it. You ready? No, wait, hold on. Let me uh, adjust my seat. Okay, I'm ready now. Now we're ready. Yep. Here, here's, how I, here's how I handle the framing. And I'll explain everything after I do it. First, do you know what chemtrails are? Yes. The planes, right? That 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 vapor that's coming out of them. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. A lot of people think these chemtrails are nefarious. They, you know, they do a lot of things negative to us, and the planes are spraying them out. Mm-hmm. I used to work for American Eagle Airlines, okay, which is the regional branch for American Airlines, mm-hmm. and we would load these planes up, but we handled baggage, right? 
Yep. So I was an acting crew chief, which meant that periodically I would be in charge of whole teams. But, you know, it's like a mix. It's like you're not quite a crew chief where you're in charge, but you're you're one step up from a regular crew member. OK. And there would be people who would come out in big vehicles and pull out a hose, hook it into the plane and pump in hydroxic acid into these planes. Oh now, this is a chemical. God. It's serious, right? Oh, my God. It's, it's hydroxic. The truth. Hydroxic out. acid is pumped into these planes. 100 percent true, by the way. 100 percent true. 100%. I watched 100%. them. I watched them do this. Yep. OK. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what the point of putting this hydroxic acid in the plane was. And that's true. This is true. And I'll explain. And so this this stuff is used in nuclear power plants. It can eat through metal. It's found in cancer cells. If you breathe in even a little bit, you die. Yep. And so let, let me tell you, though, I know this for a fact. When you see those planes flying, when you see a plane flying and you see that vapor trail coming out, that is vaporized hydroxic acid Dang. coming out the back of that plane. The truth. That's a fact. Oh, man. Bum, that bum, is 100% true. It is a vapor of it. Oh man, I'm that's, scared. It's, 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 I, I can confirm this as yeah. somebody who worked for the airport. Thank you, Tim. With Thank you. Eyes. So I, really I, I, I used, it. I used, work. so we, I did, I did you. several things in here. Mm -hmm. I used framing devices to make it sound ominous. Yep. And I used assumptive language to make you draw connections. I never said, I never said the vapor coming out of the plane was the, was the same stuff they loaded into it. I said, they put it in the plane. And when you look at, look up and see it, that vapor coming out is hydroxic, hydroxic acid. That makes the average person assume it's the chemical they put in the plane. It's not. The contrail comes from condensation and when it you know, pulls in water vapor and then pushes it out in mm -hmm. a vapor cloud. So it is vaporized water. When I said I saw people do it, I didn't know what the water was used for. That's 100% that's true. Yep. They put water in that plane. I don't know what it was for because you couldn't drink it. I'm assuming it may, may be for washing your hands. I have no idea. Yep. I did work there. It is dangerous. I framed it in a way that made it scary as possible, but I, I left gaps in to make you assume the worst, that they you were doing it for nefarious blanks. reasons. Mm -hmm. I started the story by saying people believe they do these things for nefarious means to start the story off on some scary way. Hmm. So by the time it's done, I say, I can confirm this, man. I watched them do it. And I don't know what they were doing or why, <laughs> but that stuff can be dangerous. And then the average person walks away saying, whoa, dude. That's framing. You know what that is? Storytelling. That's truth over facts. That's right. <laughs> I, 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 I act, there's a good point to be made about truth over facts. <laughs> it's I don't, great. I, don't, I love that I line. It's funny. But I don't know if... Uh, I think it's the other way around. Facts over truth? Right. That is. <laughs> Everything I told you was a fact. Right. But yeah, not the true. truth. Mm -hmm. mm. I was giving you facts to deceive you. Right. This is the craziest thing about how news operates... So these stories, like, like the story we saw about Ivanka Trump, they will tell you the truth about certain things mm -hmm. and connect things in weird ways that make no sense. Do you mm -hmm. think maybe that's what Biden was actually saying? No. no. Oh, that we, we manipulate you, that we don't care yeah. for? Yes, that's what I'm saying. What could he have possibly meant? What, how did he gaff? Well, so that he heard someone else say it in, in what we're trying to talk about, how like they use the truth and, and the facts to try to like manipulate us. So, like, the truth is what they give us over the facts that are what actually happened. So he, he heard it and he was like, yeah, I like that line. That's good. I'm going to use that in the debate later. And then says it with no Think context. About, and everyone's like, what is he talking about? That's ridiculous. Now, now hold on. Hmm? To Biden's Maybe. credit. Truth. Whoa. Truth over to facts does mean a lot. Yeah. Okay. That it it means that you sense. want to really give someone an objective, reasonable understanding regardless of the individual facts that can be falsely misrepresenting. Okay. To give someone a, you know, so this is what, this, that is, this is what I was talking about, the need for like an independent aggregator and fact checker. Yeah. Because you can have all of these stories be factually correct, but truthfully wrong. Okay. Like when they, when they take a quote from Trump where he says something, you know, what did, what did he say? Um, you're a nasty guy. You're a nasty reporter okay. to that one reporter from right, right, right. Know, NBC or whatever. That is a fact. But the truth of the matter was more complex. The right. guy had been goading Trump on. For a while. And no matter right. what Trump had said, he had countered in the, in the opposite. So Trump snapped and called him nasty. If you really want someone to understand what happened and why Trump said that, mm -hmm. the truth of the matter was actually broad. It's funny because uh, people thought that with YouTube, went with, digit, with online video, we'd have facts to prove everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now it's like. <laughs> oh, so here, here's, here's actually another really, really great example of what they've tried doing to me. There was a story that came out and the New York Times wrote about it and Fox wrote about it on a live stream. I said something to the effect of, you know, someone said, which, you know, which outlet do you trust on this one? And I said, well, I don't trust the New York Times. 
I do trust the Fox story. They took that. I, it's fact. I said it. It's a quote. Mm-hmm. The context was about one story. Right. So when they take that clip out of context, the fact is I did say it, and they use the literal statement as opposed to what was actually trying to be conveyed. Right. They right. do with Trump all the time. So that's a fact. You did say that. It's like the overarching truth is that the context behind it was like that's the bigger. simple the simple way to look at it is like what what out of context really means. My question it, is, do you think Biden could even explain it? I, no, I think in a coherent I don't think sense, he knew what, what he was talking about. I think what he meant to say was um, facts over feelings. That's what I came up with. I'm just not really sure. It didn't make sense at the time. Doesn't make sense now. I'm just glad that there's a website about it. Hmm. I love it. Oh, yeah. Truth over facts. So look at it this way. These people are mocking Trump for creating a, 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 this campaign called Truth Over Facts because they're not smart enough to understand it. <laughs> like, first of all, it's obviously fake. Yeah, very much so. It's amazing. This is crazy, Amazingly man. Amazingly fake. And you know what? Wait, I texted that number and they have you send, send them your zip code. Okay. And they're like, we're going to get you on board. We're going to talk to you about President Trump. And then they want you to take a survey about President Trump so they know exactly what yeah, they're I've doing. Seen, I've seen Trump surveys, though. Have you seen them? I, I, I'm sure it's like, they are. I got, an, I got an email leading. because I used to go to the Trump rallies to cover the 2016, yeah. 2015, 2016 campaign season. Mm-hmm. And the emails I've gotten have been like, uh, you know, how would you rate Trump's job performance? Good, great, the best, other. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what's the point of this? <laughs> that you make people have to go out of their way to say they don't like it. It could be um, anchoring, make someone click. He's doing a good job. Yeah. And then they'll like, they'll affirm it like, well, I think he's doing a good job. That could be it. Maybe, I don't know. Or it's just, Trump, you know, I'm the best, yep. you know, it's always great, you know, whatever. <laughs> I have, I have, I have a question though. I, I was, I've been wondering this. We've, we've kind of broached the subject in some of the past podcasts. Is the left just becoming people who don't, they're not smart. You know what I mean? Like certainly there are smart leftists. They're just you surrounded. I mean? See, the thing is that like you said it earlier, all right, the left, they don't follow the right. The right, they follow the right and the left, right? The journalists, I'm saying. So no, but but the, everyone does too. Like re- conservatives read liberal and conservative news. Yeah, okay. Moderates, same. But the people on the left are only following their own yep. circles. So that breeds like stupidity almost, you know? Like I, yeah. I can't think of the, a better word, you know? But, but, but critical that's basically thinking. what I'm seeing. Like if you show this website to any r- rational person, they'll laugh and be like, what is this? It's, yeah. You look down, it says paid that's for amazing. by Trump. You're like... What, 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 they're making fun of Biden. It's yeah. like they didn't even watch the video. Like, what? Well, there's something that happens when, you, when you're when talking to someone with an opposing view that might be actually the correct view, and you think something else, and you, you have a debate, and then you change your mind, and then, oh, okay, you know what? Now we're on the same page. That's great. Yeah. The people on the left, they don't like that. It's, it's, it's almost, like you said, over emotions, of feelings. Yeah. And that's what the left is. They're just a ball of emotions and feelings. Yeah. They yeah. don't care to hear about facts or uh, whatever anyone else is saying because it's triggering them and, and, and at a raw level. You know, they're like, it, it, Do you, logic gets thrown out the window because it's all emotions at that point. One, yeah. So I have, this, I have this article from The Wrap, and one of the things they bring up, it's hilarious because they clearly have no idea what they're talking about. They say truth over facts branding is in line with messaging from Trump. Kellyanne Conway invented the term alternative facts. Like, hold on. Truth over truth over facts was Joe Biden's gaffe. It's not Trump's branding. They clearly have no idea what they're talking about. But great. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Yeah. When the alternative facts things happened with Kellyanne Conway, mm-hmm. I immediately heard her say that. And I went, OK. And then a bunch of people were like, I can't believe they believe they're alternative facts. Like there are. Well, I don't understand. So uh, if I do a study okay. that says, you know, coffee causes cancer. I say, fact, a study proves this causes cancer. Okay. And then you say, hold on, I got a study that says it prevents cancer. Fact, a study proves cancer doesn't co- cause cancer or suggests or, you know, found. If I said that a study found coffee causes cancer, that's a fact. A study found that. Yep. If I say a study found that coffee prevents cancer, fact, a study did, so find, did that. find that. Yep. So you do have alternative facts. Yep. It's, it's semantic, I guess. Yeah. So it depends on, you know, who do you trust? So immediately, you know, someone tweeted this. There's no such thing. And I responded with like, what about conflicting studies? And there's like no answer. It's right. like, well, uh, mm, mm, I mean, mm. that's that's really the biggest thing. It's all semantics. Everything they they have, like the, you know, the the whole Ivanka thing. It's like, oh, semantics. So now we can run with it and, and throw everything we can into it because they crossed what we 
you know, believe. It's, it's almost all like semantics, yeah. the left is, is, is emotional, so they're easily shepherded by people who are waiting for any opportunity to falsely, like, to create to create that lie, give them an opportunity. Mm-hmm. Like when Donald Trump said, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I, we've talked about this, but in 20, during, the, during, during the 2016 election, he said Hillary Clinton acid washed her server. <laughs> right. We I all know what this. he meant. He meant that she purged it. Yeah, right. yeah. NBC said false. Used Hillary Clinton bit. did not use a corrosive substance mm-hmm. on her server. She used bleach bit. And it's like, no one thought that's what Trump meant. Did you really think that? Are you yeah. dumb? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then they're catering yep. to all the left that are also dumb, that yeah. believe that kind of stuff. I think, so there was, there was a graph that I've, I've tweeted out several times. Okay. Conservatives tend to read mostly conservative news, and around 30 to 35% is liberal news. Okay. Moderates tend to read the inverse around 60% liberal sources and 35% conservative sources. Okay. Still both. Liberals, 95% liberal sources. Yep. I wonder if that's actually not, uh, you know, correlation, but causation that because liberals only read liberal news, they're liberal. If a person reads mostly liberal stuff, but some conservative, they'll be moderate. Okay. If a person only reads conservative, they'll be conservative. Or even if they, if they read mostly conservative, and if a person reads only liberal, they'll be liberal. It's really funny then that you actually have conservative and moderates mostly, you know, agreeing and disagreeing on some policy issues, but like getting along. Yeah. Because that's like the left. But then you have the liberal faction of people who just read the left. So I wonder if over time what we're seeing is the two groups that are forming, right? So you, you know the walk away campaign. Yeah. You got a lot of people who are formerly Democrats now leaving, joining the Republicans, mm-hmm. voting for Trump, or just leaving the Democratic Party. Yeah. Over time, it's like it's like watching. You, you ever see one of those Plinko things? You know, you know, Plinko is from. Uh, oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a. Uh, the Price is Right, where all the little pegs are, and then you drop the thing, and it bounces around. Mm-hmm. And if you drop them evenly, they start distributing in different ways. It feels like there are some, you know, some people who are really dumb, and some people who are, you know, moderately smart or inquisitive at the very least. Okay. And so when you drop them into this machine where the left is fake news that any reasonable person will question. And the right has a bunch of, you know, uh, hyperbolic conservative opinion. You end up with a bunch of people saying, that's a lie. That's their opinion. I'm okay with their opinion. I disagree. I'll go read this. And then you have the dumb people being like, derp, that's the truth. Burp, that's the truth. So the dumb people are being filtered into the dumb section. Yeah, and basically. inquisitive people are arguing over the opinions of people, and, right? And enlightening themselves. Yeah. essentially well they're being forced to argue be- among yeah. themselves and that's what how you become more enlightened right, by, exactly. by well, hearing discussing. other yeah well i mean even if you are, end up being right in the long run you're still you still had to prove your point you, you can, you can still pick else. up bad ideas learning more about it yeah. you can still pick up bad ideas that's that's true but it's an issue of do i blindly just believe whatever i'm told or actually it's not even that the the, the truth over facts is the perfect explanation the perfect example yeah take two people one person is of average intelligence, moderately inquisitive, and they see this and they go, what is this? It's like truth over facts. Why does Biden look so dumb? Oh, Donald Trump paid for it. Is this like Trump making fun of Biden? Then you, take, then you take a dumb person and mm-hmm. they go, the Joe Biden. Whoa, that's crazy. Whoa, that that's a Joe Rogan quote. What? Oh, you know what I mean. It was way too close, man. Quote. <laughs> what I mean is, you show someone this Ivanka New Statesman article, mm-hmm. a reasonable person is going to be like, uh, but she only tweeted the word taken. Like, what? That's her only source. Elon Musk isn't a white supremacist. This doesn't make sense. No, it makes let me, no let sense. Let me Google this. And there's no other facts, nothing else. Let me, let, a, silly a reasonable person yeah. says like, I'm, I'm going to ask someone about this. Did you see that story about Elon? Is that true? That sounds weird. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I right. believe that. Yeah. Then you get the other person, they go, whoa, she's a Nazi. I knew it. And everyone that's taken the red pill is also a Nazi. Yep. And I knew and that, too. And an eco-fascist. And then, yes. here's the best part. The dumb people go on Twitter, and they wiggle their arms, and they're going, <laughs> Yes, just like the turkeys. And the Democrat politicians see them, they go, I guess that's what they want. Oh. And then people like me, and like you, mm-hmm. and like Lydia, and the walk away people yeah. are like, no, like, stop, Why please. are you doing that why are wavy... Got turkey thing. I don't even know. The wavy turkey thing? Yeah, yes. yeah I can't You're do it running as well running around as with their arms wiggling <laughs> in the air. Yeah, that. Yes, that. They have no idea what's going on, what they're talking about. Oh and God. so you end up with people having no choice. But like, if you've got one person on the left 
And it's like, why should I appoint you? And they're going, well, I'll lie to you. I'm lying to all of them. Mm -hmm. Or it's like, they just lie to you. And you're like, but you're, you're lying. And then you go to the right and they're like, here are my opinions. And I'm like, I don't like those opinions. But you're telling me the truth. Yep. They're just your opinions. I it's appreciate okay. the truth. Right. I, yeah. I can't get over how close they look together now. That's hilarious. Oh, I can't no, get it out right. of my head. Look oh, at this. Exactly for for anyone person. who missed this segment earlier, this is insane. The, they look exactly the same. The okay, so exactly the author like and this Ivanka. woman yeah. <laughs> wearing like a red dress with blonde hair, <laughs> hand on the chin. And they did this photo. It's like the same thing. <laughs> She's wearing a red dress. She's blonde. But she, hands on but her chin. This, this we should write a whole article about how that right there, this right that here. That is a dog whistle. All right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You're, you're all Ivanka. right, Sarah. She's doing the same Manavis. Thing. Oh, who knew? Manavis? M oh, is that whatever Man it is? Oh, no. Manavis? <laughs> Manavis. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever sounds cooler, I guess. Yeah, yeah whatever. Or sounds stupid. I see M A N A. -N -A I think mana. Manavis. Because, because yeah. of Final Fantasy and stuff. Is this the weirdest thing ever? Do you think. And, and here, here, the, the big question, and we can wrap this off and jump, jump over the chats, is it, does she know what she's doing? Yes. I think the answer is yes. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, 100%. Definitely does. Yep. She's going through the lexicon of terms. Yep. Because this yep. article is one of those things that all the people on the left are like, oh, yeah, share this, man. Did you did you read about that? It Yo, filters the stupid this. people to the left. Yeah, it yep. does. Exactly. It really does. You're right. It's like that's, that's crazy. for gold. <laughs> it sure <Yeah>. is. <laughs> Thanks for checking out this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. We do the show live. Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. If you want to catch the full show, tune in to this channel, subscribe, hit the like button, or check us out on iTunes and Spotify, and we will soon have this podcast up for free on all podcast platforms. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all in the next episode.